words can read. Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to another video. And in today's video, I decided to last minute participate in the Contemporary-thon because it is next week. And I thought if I'm unwell, then I would at least like to get some contemporary books read. So this readathon lasts from Monday until Sunday the 17th, which is literally the day before my birthday. So awesome. So this challenge is, so I'm going to let you know the books that I've chosen for each challenge. So challenge number one is to read the most recent contemporary book that you have purchased or acquired. Now, to be honest, for this challenge, it can go towards several books. So for this one, I decided to put Burn for Burn by Jenny Hahn and Siobhan Vivian because this was in my January book haul and I am very, very intrigued to give this one a read. Challenge number two is to read a book with Blurple blue or purple on the cover so for this one I've put The Lost Girls of Camp Forevermore by Kim Fu so as you can see there's in fact both colours it's sort of a blue and then it goes to a purple so it's like a lot of blurple going on there so I thought this would be perfect definitely looking forward to reading a contemporary based around a camp so challenge number three is to read a diverse contemporary, keeping in mind that it is Black History Month. But I'm going more in the diversity with some LGBT in it. So I recently got approved for Red, White and Royal Blue. I paste the picture over here, but this is literally a rom-com that is about the first son who falls in love with the Prince of Wales and it just it sounds so cool and so awesome so I thought this would be absolutely perfect and I'm looking forward to reading this one. Challenge number four is to read a dark and emotional or hard-hitting contemporary so for this one I have put Five Feet Apart by Rachel Libincott so this one's got a movie coming out starring Dylan Sprouse and this is a contemporary there's literally about two people who li literally like the um, minimum amount they can be stood between each other is five feet they have to stand five feet apart so obviously because they've got medical conditions I could tell it's going to be very very hard hitting and emotional and I look forward to giving this one a read. Challenge number five is a contemporary that you meant to read in 2018 but didn't. To be honest, this can go towards quite a lot of contemporaries, but I distinctly remember this being on a TBR at some point last year. So I put The Next Together by Lauren James. I did put this on my January TBR because it was my unwrapped book, and so I I thought, you know, I brought this with me because I was determined to get it read. This is a time travel contemporary and I'm looking forward to giving it a read because I've heard fantastic things about this. Challenge number six is to read a contemporary in a non-traditional format. So that could be like a graphic novel contemporary or an ebook or an audiobook. I went with this book, The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo because the format is poetry which you know you don't normally get in any sort of contemporary really so I thought this would be perfect also because of Black History Month it would be perfect too so it's awesome. The final challenge is to read a contemporary with some sort of picture on the spine so for this one I went for this book because there's a picture right here on the spine and this book is Nina Won't Tell by Catherine Applegate. It's a contemporary in a series, so it's perfect as well. This will be a reread for me. I'm all for it, looking forward to it. And yeah, I think it'll be perfect for this readathon. So you have it, guys. Those are all the books that I'm putting on my contemporary TBR. It's going to be ambitious because obviously that is a book a day, but you know, I like having a challenge. 
Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are participating in the Contemporary Thon. If so, what books you're reading. And let me know if you've read any of these books I've mentioned in today's video. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching my video. As always, keep smiling, keep reading and be happy. And I'll see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video. Bye.